This time I'm in Adobe Bridge. I'm using Adobe Bridge CS5 and I'm going to show you how you can easily import images using Bridge from a memory card. So I've got my memory card reader connected to my computer. I'm going to plug in my memory card in here. Okay. And the because I'm on Windows, this pop up window comes out. So I'm going to select download images using Adobe Bridge CS5. You can also set it to automatically download images using Bridge CS5 if you want to use it all the time by setting autoplay options. Okay. I'm just going to select download images using Adobe Bridge CS5. Okay. And this will launch import dialog box in Adobe Bridge for the downloader. Okay. If you if this window doesn't open, you can always go here in Adobe Bridge. This icon here will download the images. Okay. And then you just select the source. This is my memory card. And it says there are 47 files here. Got loads of images and videos. And it's 2.8 gigabytes. And they were taken between 21st and 25th of April 2011. Now, if you, you may be looking at standard dialog box, so something like that. So what you may want to do is click on advanced dialog so you can see big previews of the images. Okay. Good. And you can preview the images here. Okay, you can see the images, right? It's going to make it a bit bigger. Okay. Now, where do you want to save your images? Pictures? You can just browse and save them anywhere you want. I'm just going to save them on a desktop. Okay, and then I'm going to create a subfolder. I can use custom name or short date or today's date. I'm going to use a custom name and I'm going to call it 04 Wales. Do you want to rename the files? No, I'm not going to rename them. I will rename them later on because I may decide to delete some of the files. I'll keep it as it is for now. But you can rename them. Then advanced options. Open Adobe Bridge. Well, it's already opened, but that's okay. Convert to DNG. No. Delete original files. No. And then you can also save copies. I love this feature. This is like in Lightroom where application can create a backups for you automatically. So I'm going to create another folder on a desktop for backup. So Bridge will automatically create a backup of of all these files, the original files that keep will keep untouched. And then apply metadata. Do you want to apply metadata or maybe none? I'm going to use basic metadata. I've got it got my name and the corporate information. By the way, if you want to insert a copyright symbol, this will be a tip for you. On Mac it's Alt G. On Windows it's Alt 0169. This inserts copyright symbol on every in every application on the computer. Now I'll do 2011 and then my name. Okay, and then all rights reserved. And then just click get folders. Now I'm going to maybe deselect some of them so I don't have to import all of these guys. I'm actually going to select the first one. Hold the shift key, select the last one, and then click on this check mark. Quick trick where you can select loads of images at the same time. So I'm only importing six files, and these are actually videos. Now I'm going to get rid of these guys as well. So I'm just importing these three videos. And I'll click Get Photos. And now Bridge is downloading the videos, the files, from a memory card onto a desktop into a folder called 04 Wales. And it's also creating a backup on another in another folder on a desktop called backup. It says copying file, it's copying the first file, MVI underscore four seven four zero dot MOV. This is the video. Okay. And in just a moment, I'm can minimize bridge for now. And just a moment, I'll see these videos here. So this is zero for Wales. Still coping the video should appear here in just a moment and now it's creating a backup copy from the same file so what it's doing is importing the video onto a hard drive and then it's creating a backup copy at the same time and then it will move on to the next file and that's how you 
import the files. This is the video okay, here on a hard drive. Okay, I hope you enjoyed it. I'm Marek Mulatric from SciTraining.co.uk, one of the UK's leading specialists in Adobe Certified Training. And thank you for watching.